NBA as we're looking forward to the restart of the season. The panel of our ESPN.com reporters released their playoff predictions. The race for the eight seed in the West is a very close vote, but the Blazers, Portland, getting a slight edge over Memphis there. In the East, the Bucks were picked by every single panelist to make the Eastern Conference Finals. The Celtics and Raptors were the next two highest picked teams, so everyone generally likes Milwaukee. In the West, it will likely be the Battle of L.A. 97% of the panelists picked the Lakers, 85% Pick the Clippers to make the West Finals. As far as the finals are concerned, the Lakers were picked by half the panel to win it, followed by the Bucks and then the Clippers. When this panel was last polled in March, the Bucks got over 60 percent of the vote. But obviously, as Jalen and many of others have said over the course of time, this is a whole new season. Zach Lowe is back with us. Jalen and uh, and RJ are with us here. And so, Zach, I'll start with you as you rejoin us right now. Who do you have coming out of the Eastern Conference? I've had Bucks all season. I don't really see a reason not to pick the Bucks, especially since the layoff has given Giannis's knee a chance to heal. So I'll, st I'll stick with Chalk. I'll stick with the Bucks. They've J been the best team all year in the East. Jalen, you agree? There won't be Chalk. Except in the Western Conference, potentially because the Lakers and or the Clippers are going to win that conference. In the Eastern Conference, I disagree, Zach Lowe. Get low. I love the season up, Giannis Jaylen? has had. He's my MVP. What up, family? But I'm taking the Boston Celtics. I think, RJ, if we was having a pickup game and you were taking seven players, I think five of the seven would be from the Boston Celtics. Tatum. Jalen Brown. Kimball Walker. All terrific. Gordon Hayward, spinning all-star, second year off an injury. Don't sleep on the Celtics. That's my pick. All right, so we have one vote for the Bucks and one vote for the Celtics. RJ, break the tie. Who you got? Honestly, I think given the new format, the Bucks should be the favorite, but I will say that the Boston Celtics, to me, they do have the versatility. They have the youth. Understand, you know, Milwaukee has a little bit older players. Like, you have Giannis, but you have older players on that Bucks, so it could take them a little bit longer to get fired up. But Jalen knows, when you're 23 years old, when you're 24 years old, you don't stretch, you don't ice, you wipe <laughs> off the bottom of your shoes, and you get in a defensive stance. And so having a younger, but a very talented team that the Boston Celtics have. I believe that they are the one team that could take down Milwaukee Bucks. So I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Boston just because of this environment that we're in right now. All right, two votes for the Celtics and one for the Bucks. Let's go to the West, and, and this time I'll start with you, RJ. Who do you have coming out of the West? Uh, honestly, I have to say the Clippers. Like, I, I really like the Lakers, but again, I'm going to go with the same format that I'm using for Boston. You have a ton of versatile players with the Clippers. You can lose a Morris, and you still have a Reggie Jackson. You have so many guys down the line. You got, you can lose a Patrick Beverly, and you still have Paul George and Kawhi, and you have so much talent down that line. So to me, the Clippers, because of their depth, because of their versatility, especially between guys that are 6'2 to 6'9. They got the most of them in the NBA that can really play. So I'm going with the Clippers. He's got the Clips. Jalen, you agree? RJ, I love the reasons why you're going with the Clips. We're having four players average over 19. Montrez here and Lou Williams, to me, they should split the sixth man of the year. But I'm going with the Lakers because I remember being in the gym mm. and Patrick Beverly was trying to get the ball up against Avery Bradley's defense, and he got ripped a couple of times. And I started mm -hmm. to look at the Lakers squad a lot different with he and Danny Green's defensive prowess and their ability to knock down threes, plus the dominance of LeBron James leading the league in assists and setting the table, plus the height the Lakers have up front with AD, an all-NBA performer, Dwight Howard, JaVale McGee. That can be suffocating. So I'm taking the Los Angeles Lakers. Zach, Clippers or Lakers? Uh, I said Clippers to win the title in July. I see no reason to pick anyone but the Clippers now. They're versatile. They can play any style, big or small. I think Jalen did hit on one potential semi-weakness, like a little bit less ball handling than you would like, but they are really versatile, so I'm sticking Clippers. All right, I got one minute. I want to pick from each of you because we've all named all the usual suspects, Boston, Milwaukee, and the two L.A. teams. Give me one other team, Zach, that we should be watching. 
You all are sleeping. If you're looking for a sleeper, you're all sleeping on the defending champion Toronto Raptors. Everyone's talking Celtics, Celtics, Celtics in the East. Raptors are ahead of the Celtics. Marc Gasol's healthy. Put some respect on the Raptors name. What do you think, Jalen? The player people sleeping on is Kyle Kuzma. I didn't even say his name in the previous thing, and he's going to ball. The team is the Portland Trailblazers. You get back Nurkic. You get no. back Collins. They were in the Western Conference no. playoffs last year. Richard doesn't want to hear it. Richard, final yeah, word. Who's your look, sleeper? Jamal, J Jamal Murray and the Denver Nuggets. The one disadvantage that they don't that that they're going to be playing against is they won't be playing in the mile high. That's a huge advantage for them. That's the only reason why I'm not picking them. But you should watch them. I'm out of time here. I'd love to talk further about it. We never didn't even mention the Houston Rockets, who are a team I think people need to be watching who? when they come back. Guys, awesome. 